Updated 2017 Mercedes S-Class raises the tech bar again. Facelift Mercedes S-Class revealed at Shanghai with high upgrades and engine lineup revamp. The Mercedes S-Class has always been the German brand's technological tour de force, and the firm is maintaining that position with a new facelift version of the car, launched at the Shanghai Motor Show and on sale in early summer. On the surface, the new S-Class gets only mild exterior tweaks, with revised front and rear bumpers, the V12 edition's front grille rolled out across the full range, and different headlights that feature a three-striped LED daytime running light layout. However, there are extensive revisions to the engine lineup, including new straight-six diesel motors, with a choice of power outputs, and 48-volt technology that aims to boost efficiency on a straight-six petrol that's also likely to make it to the UK. The S-Class also gets Mercedes' latest autonomous technology, rolled into the most sophisticated Distronic cruise control ever seen on one of the firm's models. The main change to Distronic is the inclusion of mapping data into the system, it helps the car to anticipate corners and junctions, and adjust its speed accordingly. There are also improvements to the active lane change assist, which now switches lanes by flicking the indicator stock, and tailback assistance, which can hold the car for longer during pauses in traffic flow. The S-Class's magic body control is revised, too, its stereo cameras scan the road more thoroughly, and at speeds of up to 130 miles per hour, and it can also lean the car into corners to help reduce the amount of lateral force felt by the occupants. The new diesel engine, called OM656, will supply power for the S350D that traditionally accounts for most S-Class sales in the UK. It produces 282 bhp and 600 nm, and should return less than 145 g-km of CO emissions. However, the range will also expand to include a new S400D, which offers 335 bhp and 700 nm, and only a modest increase in fuel consumption and emissions. Merck is said to be considering selling this version with four-wheel drive in the UK. Merck is also planning to launch at least one straight-six petrol edition of the car. Called M256, the new engine will make use of 48-volt electrics to power an electric compressor and an integrated starter alternator, in an attempt to maximize fuel efficiency. By early 2018 there will also be a new plug-in petrol hybrid version, called S560E and featuring a 13.3 kWh battery that's enough to take the S-Class around 30 miles on pure electric power alone. Inside, the S-Class gets updated materials and color options, and the instrument panel features an updated display layout with two 12.3-inch screens that are higher resolution than before and positioned behind a glass screen to give the impression of them being a single unit. There's also a new steering wheel that incorporates swipe touch controls, and which can also include operate the distronic functions, replacing the traditional column stock. At the top of the range, the S63 AMG gets a, a new 9-speed transmission and a 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 to replace the old 5.5-liter unit. The motor produces 604 bhp and can take the S-Class from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds. The S65 AMG, meanwhile, retains its 6.0 liter V12 by turbo, which produces 621 bhp and 1000 nm. The new S-Class will go on sale in late May, although the first deliveries of UK cars aren't due until October. Merck is said to be considering dropping the basic SE edition of the car, so the starting point of the range, which will continue to include long wheelbase, Maybach and Pullman versions, should rise slightly, to around 73,000 pounds.